Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer request and devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. On a prayer request today, pray for Terry who is battling the end stages of ALS. Pray for Gary's family, his daughter and her husband's youngest son who was buried Sunday at the age of 18. Give them peace and comfort. Pray for the family and students of Stanley McNish, choir director, and Tim Hickey, track coach. They both passed away this month. Okay, uh, Lori was diagnosed with gastroparesis. Diabetes caused it and there's sadly no cure. She has to eat smaller meals. Pray she'll be okay. Kim Tunney is an MS patient and she has a very bad sore and she had an operation on it Wednesday to clean it out. Pray for quick healing for her. And I got an update that her surgery went well and she might be going home, I think uh, Saturday. So we'll continue to pray for her until then. But continue to pray for all the families who have lost loved ones in Hawaii. Adam is going from the UK to Poland next week. Pray that he has a safe journey. Pray for Jessica's brother and friends as they celebrate the life of their dear friend Friday. Okay. All right, our scripture of the day. Starting a new book on our daily bread. What's it look like? I had a renewal notice on it. There's what the, the front looks like. Fall colors. Okay, and our scripture of the day comes from John 16, 25 through 33. And most of this is Jesus speaking. Um, Though I have been speaking figuratively, a time is coming when I will no longer use this kind of language, but will tell you plainly about... Let me see where that went. My father... In that day you will ask in my name, I am not saying that I will not ask the Father on your behalf. No, the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Now this part in Jesus here. Then Jesus' disciples said, Now you are speaking clearly and without figures of speech. Now we can see that, know, that you know all things and that you do not even need to have anyone ask you questions. This makes us believe that you came from God. Now this is Jesus, the rest of this. Uh, do, do you now believe, Jesus replied, a time is coming and in fact has come when you will be scattered each to your own home. You will leave me all alone. Yet I am not alone for my Father is with me. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen. Okay. All right, and our, our devotion today is entitled God's Epic Story. Life Magazine's July 12, 1968 cover displayed a horrifying photograph of starving children from Biafra. It was in Nigeria during the Civil War. A young boy, distressed, took a copy of the magazine to a pastor and asked, Does God know about this? The pastor replied, I know you don't understand, but yes, God knows about that. The boy walked out, declaring he was uninterested in such a God. These questions disturb not only children, but all of us. Alongside an affirmation of God's mysterious knowledge, I wish that boy had heard about the epic story God is continuing to write, even in places like the former nation of Biafra. Jesus unfolded this story for his followers, those who assumed he'd shield them from hardship. Christ told them instead that, in this world you will have trouble. What Jesus did offer, however, was his promise that these evils weren't the end. In fact, he'd already overcome the world. And in God's final chapter, 
every injustice will be undone, every suffering healed. Genesis to Revelations, Revelation recount the story of God destroying every unthinkable evil, making every wrong right. The story presents the loving one whose interest is in, in us is unquestioned. Jesus said to his disciples, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. May we rest in his peace and presence today. How does the story you see feel tragic? How does Jesus' promise to write a good ending free you? Dear God, it's hard for me to see how you'll write all the evils, but I trust you to do it. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.